What's up gamers? It's your boy Fat Dallas aka Mr. Tutty Tutty bringing you a quick lineup update and a couple of my gameplays from Weekend League. I think we are 3 and 0. Oh. Matter of fact, we just going to do one gameplay in this video because I got to get ready to go to this big show with Chris Farley's brother Nick Farley. He's going to be at the bowling alley, so me and the family going to go out. So I owe y'all an extra video tomorrow, but I'm going to try to include some tips into this video. So smack a like on the video. You can see we made a full upgrade to the defense. Shout out to all the super subs that's been answering me on Twitter. Antonio Collins, uh, Coach Prescott, shout out to the Patreons that's been rocking and supporting your boy. We got a couple, bo uh, Lonzo Jennings, a couple other bang bang Patreon members, but you can see we completely overhauled. The only thing that we got switched in this gameplay right here is we got Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback because Cunningham is more of a scrambling uh quarterback and I don't do too much scrambling unless I have to unless they drop like two people back in spy and eight in coverage or something like that so you can see we starting off the game with a hit stick fumble right there man so that lets you know the game is not gonna go your way so I gotta come out in a small package in this gameplay and we just gonna dial up some dots and this is all in the ebook I think right here we are in a small package single back wing slot only thing I did was streak my tight end and I left the out route. The reason why I come out in that is because I want to come out and cover three beaters. You can see he came out in hard flats. So his hard flat is going to automatically drop to that out route. And usually you can streak the tight end over the top. Well, fade him over the top and you will be able to kill him. But this guy was coming out in a lot of big boy packages where you will have to run dive and wham. And I don't got wham in this playbook. So we had to just beat him underneath. We had to go for the two yard and three yard passes all the way until I can catch him into a cover three or a cover two without the deep blue. Like right here. As soon as I see a guy open, I'm not looking down the field. I'm just taking my two or three yards. You will see in this video, he will be manually moving people around. So you can see right now. We down 7-0, and I'm going into the single back ace close because on his defense, I can see that he is always having seven or eight people in zone. So that means as soon as you hike the ball, his guys are going back instead of up. So we're going to start pounding the ball, the single back ace. Like I told y'all, I'm in the sec Texans playbook. I've been in the Texans playbook for a while because they got the uh, ace close, the single back deuce. They got the ace normal. It's like seven to eight different run plays you can do out of it. And you don't really need a tip on that. You should already know you just follow your block and you just run. Don't hold the speed burst until you all the way to the outside with a defender behind you or you go up the hole. As soon as you hit the hole, then you can hold the speed burst because then it's harder for you to switch, especially if you got agility runners. You want to be able to spin on the dime. You want to be able to cut on the dime. You want to be able to change your direction on the dime as we hit them with a quick slant right there, and that's unguardable. You have to have a user on the line of scrimmage and just strafe and hold the Y button in order to stop that. So that's the reason why I come out in that in the red zone because a lot of people run commit a lot of people put spies and a whole bunch of people in coverage so i come out in that as soon as he come off the line of scrimmage i just throw it in front of him right here we right back to the run because this guy like i said he was dropping seven in coverage and if you are in a coverage play your guy's first steps off of the hike in the ball will be backwards so Unless you a Patreon or unless you got a little bit of skill on how to make your yellows play up, which I do. And matter of fact, I'm going to drop a quick tip for y'all real quick. And on the Patreons, I'm going to break down what you do. All you want to do is when you come out, play underneath. That automatically puts your yellow zones in like cloud types. Even though they're in yellow zones, they would play five yards and underneath. So they would jump drag routes and all that. But then you would have to re cloud your cornerbacks so i'll give y'all a breakdown of that if that's something that y'all interested in but you can see right here he brung everybody on the right side down in the box i got bo jackson as a tight end so i'm just gonna use speed most safeties are 87 88 89 speed bo jackson with the uh chemistry from the jerseys he go all the way up to a 95 speed so i knew i had him in a good position we started off the game with that fumble down seven to zero and you can see the way that my offense is set up, I'm able to move the ball. I'm able to control the clock. And on defense, I don't really show the defense, but you know that I can get my two or three stops every game by my defense. And if y'all didn't find out how to do the 4-3 over yet, I'm in the 4-3 over right now. You can get become a Patreon and get that. As you can see, the cloud is jumping that route right there. He was looking for everything across the middle, had a late read. And by that time, the cloud made his adjustments and picked it off. Let's go.